How is it everyone? Welcome back. And today we're going to take a look at yet another Discraft Luna video. That's right. You guys probably thought I was done with the Luna. No, let's keep that hype train rolling as the Big Z Luna is out in full force. Now, I've had a lot of people uh, ask me questions, you know, hey, I can't get a Big Z Luna. What else can I use to fill that slot? Well, I'm here to kind of show you that the Big Z Roach is actually not as far off as I think a lot of people say. Now, kind of taking a look at the disc, they both have really good dome, they both have great glide control, and if you can control your arm speed and the angles, you can really throw these discs on any line. Now, one thing worth mentioning, I have thrown a couple different Big Z Lunas. This is actually the one that I personally own, but other ones that I've thrown have been slightly more overstable than this one. I can really kind of crank into them maybe about 75, 80% power, and they just hold dead straight and then have a gentle hyzer. With the one that I have, I'm kind of more throwing it at about 50, maybe to 60% power, and then getting a very similar outcome. So as we go ahead and take a look at the actual throws, you can notice that, you know what? The Big Z Roach actually follows a very similar line to the Luna. Now again, as I mentioned, I do have a slightly more understable Big Z Luna than a lot of people have, but they are very comparable. They really do hold very similar lines if you're able to control your arm speed as well as control the angle of release. I'm really able to put both on any kind of line that I want. I can put them on hyzer lines and they will hold that arcing hyzer line. I can hyzer flip them uh, to flat and hold straight. I can throw them um, a little bit near flat and get them to hold um, kind of a straight line and then just kind of Anheuser and hold it the whole way or just throw it on a real just big Anheuser angle and get them to just never come back. They really do follow each other in most of these shots and hold those very similar lines. So with that, I know the next question is going to be, can I just pick up the Big Z Roach and it's going to do what the Big Z Luna does? Not quite. As I said, they are very similar, but they are not exact. If you were to give me both the Big Z Luna that I have and the Roach and said you have to pick one, I will pick the Luna every single time. The main reason is I think the Luna is actually a little more forgiving. If you're off on your angle just a little bit, it's a lot more forgiving. It's a lot more auto-correcting than, say, the Big Z Roach, which Honestly, it was a little bit squirrely at times. However, if you really take the time to work with the Big Z Roach, you'll definitely be rewarded as it can, as I mentioned, it can really follow very similar shots to the Luna. Um, those last actual two shots were very good examples. You could see how both of them were thrown on a slight hyzer. They both kind of flipped up to flat. I wish I took a picture of it but they were actually nestled almost on top of each other. Both discs were almost touching about 10 feet from the basket. So very consistent. Now, keep in mind, this is coming from the perspective of a slow arm speed player. If you have a much quicker arm speed, then you're gonna probably notice a little bit different uh, results. I think you're gonna see that the uh, Luna is going to hold a little bit better on the lines versus the Roach is going to be slightly harder to control. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully I showed that, you know what? The Big Z Roach is a decent comparison to the Big Z Luna. Maybe not quite exact, but it definitely holds its own and is a good replacement if you cannot get a Big Z Luna at this time. So, big thank you to Discraft and Riverside Pro Shop. As always, thank you guys, and thank you to the community. You guys are amazing, and until next time.